Are you or someone you know struggling with type 2 diabetes? Are you tired of taking multiple medications while searching for the answers to overcome this ferocious disease? Well, an engineer named Dwayne McCulley searched for the very same answers and, like far too many people struggling with type 2 diabetes, he was about to end up here. I was diagnosed with a specific condition known as a non-contotic hyperglycemic hyperosomolar coma. Now, <laughs> uh, when I came out of the coma, the doctor said, uh, Dwayne, we got some good news and we got some bad news. The good news is that you're alive. The bad news is ooh, we've got to remove your legs. This is Dwayne's story of recovery from diabetes. So, if you or someone you love has type 2 diabetes, you need to keep watching. Dwayne's unlikely journey started here, in the hospital, where he narrowly escaped death and survived a diabetic coma despite a blood sugar level of 1,337. With his daughter Cynthia by his side, Dwayne was shocked when doctors told him that he would be on insulin and several other drugs for the rest of his life. They said he'd likely be facing kidney dialysis, blindness, and even amputation in the future. After leaving the hospital, with the help of his daughter, mother, and sister, Dwayne started eating what his mother called God's food. Lots of green vegetables, smoothies, raw juices, plant oils, nuts, seeds, etc. During the next four months, Dwayne transformed his diet and lifestyle, lost 55 pounds, and lowered his blood glucose all the way down to 87. In addition, Dwayne was able to completely wean himself off insulin and other drugs. So, there you have it. Those doctors at the hospital were dead wrong. With the help of Duane's engineering background and the women in his life, this engineer had indeed figured out how to defeat diabetes. Duane next embarked on a grassroots effort to share his story with people at diverse venues across the community. While Duane was working with the American Diabetes Association and several churches, he realized that education was going to be the key to helping people with diabetes. So, he conducted training classes and diabetes workshops to educate people about type 2 diabetes locally and over the internet. In addition, he attended diabetic support group meetings where he taught those in attendance about type 2 diabetes management. Duane then developed a training program with colorful PowerPoint slides and flip charts to educate diabetics and healthcare professionals about how to manage type 2 diabetes. People loved the animated slides and diagrams because these materials made it easier for them to understand how to better manage their diabetes. And because of so many requests, Duane finally relented and started writing a book about his remarkable recovery. While trying to think up the title and cover image, Duane's mother and daughter reminded him of a recurring nightmare he had in the hospital where he saw the word diabetes on a gravestone. And with this, Death to Diabetes was born. This book teaches you how to manage and improve your type 2 diabetes, prevent diabetic complications, reduce your dependency on drugs, and much, much more. And for those who doubt this story, there's PDF copy of Duane's doctor's medical report on his website. Today, with this top-selling book, Duane is helping thousands of diabetics around the world live the life they were meant to live. Oh, and by the way, the big afro is gone, but his commitment to the cause has never been stronger. This is Dwayne's story, but it can be yours too. Through this inspirational journey, Dwayne has proved that diabetics can get off their drugs and improve their diabetes. And now, so can you. Visit the website to educate yourself and learn how to better manage your diabetes with Dwayne's training program and diabetes book.